Yes, Lord, forever you have been glorified. Amen. Forever, oh Lord God, you've been high lifted up, oh Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that your name is a name that is above all names, oh Lord God. Amen. That at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue will confess in heaven, on earth, and in the earth that Jesus Christ is Lord, oh Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you that today we can make that statement, oh God. We don't want to wait for that day that we are forced unto our knees, oh God, to declare that Jesus is Lord. And we're declaring this hour, oh God, as we're standing in the gap, oh Lord, that, oh Lord God, that the power of death, oh Lord God, has been overcome, oh Lord God. You, oh Lord God, overcame the grave, oh Lord God. You declared word on death, oh Lord God. And forever, oh Lord God, you have gained the power over hell, oh Lord God. And you have given us authority, oh Lord God, to resurrect in you and through you, oh Lord God. Father, this morning, we declare, oh Lord God, that you start shaking the grounds, oh Lord God, of people's heart, oh God. That you start rolling away that stone, oh God, that is trying to keep people into the in their own shells, oh Lord God, of sin, oh Lord God. Roll away, oh Lord God, the stone of their stony hearts, oh Lord God, and release, oh God, your power into them, oh God, that, oh Lord, they cannot overcome, oh Lord God, that they cannot stand, oh Lord God, they cannot stand in front of your love, oh Lord God, because your perfect love has overcome their fear, oh Lord God. Your perfect love, oh Lord God, has overcome death and the sting of death, oh Lord God. Your resurrection, oh Lord God, you are the resurrected King, oh Lord. And this morning, oh Lord, we want you, oh Lord God, to shake the grounds of our city, oh Lord God. We want you to shake the hearts of the people who are rejecting you, oh Lord God. And Lord, oh God, take their way, their stony heart towards you and give them a heart of flesh, oh God. Give them a heart, oh God, that is filled with your presence, oh Lord God. This morning, we just desire for you, oh Lord God, to bring resurrection in this hour, oh Lord God, in our city, in our province, oh God, in our nation, oh God. Oh Lord, bring resurrection in Metro Vancouver, oh Lord God. Bring an awakening in this hour, oh Lord God. Bring an understanding, oh Lord. There is no hope beside Jesus, oh Lord God. There is no other hope, oh Lord God. We can look at to the doctors. We can to look at the medicine, oh Lord God. We read about the woman with a blood issue. Twelve years she spent her money to find a cure for her blood issue, but she couldn't find a way. But she touched the hem of the garment of Jesus, and she was immediately made whole, oh God. Father God, we just declare, oh Lord, this morning, yes, it is wise of all the doctors what they're doing, but oh God, it's not the solution, oh God. It's just wise, oh God. The solution is Jesus, oh Lord God. The reason that we're facing this pandemic is because we rejected Jesus, hallelujah. And we need to come back to the heart of the Father one more time. We need to accept Jesus Christ as the Lord of this nation, oh God. For you said in your word, the nation that the Lord is their God, that nation will be blessed, oh Lord. And we're calling you, oh Lord, at this hour. We say, Jesus, we need you. We need you. We want you, oh Lord God. We need your power to be released in this hour, oh Lord God. We are the shame of the gospel of Jesus Christ, which is our the power unto salvation. And today we're just releasing this song one more time, oh Lord God. That we say, oh Lord God, we're hearing in the news. They say the vaccination might not even respond the way they expected to respond. It will not do what they thought they will do. It's causing all sorts of allergies. And there's other waves of the virus that is not the vaccination is not responding. And we have an answer for all of them. The answer is Jesus. Jesus, you just need to call upon the name. He says, I will send my word and my word will heal you. Hallelujah. Jesus is the answer and Jesus is the healer. And we release that right now in the atmosphere of Metro Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, from coast to coast. We say, Jesus, have dominion, have your way and have your will. We pray in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This morning we just want to raise Hallelujah. our praises using the words of God. Psalm 33. He said, Rejoice in the Lord, O you righteous. Yes. And I will say, Rejoice in the Lord, O you Amen. Metro right. Vancouver. Yes. Rejoice in the Lord, O you God's people. 
rejoice this morning. Amen. For praise from the upright is beautiful. Yeah. Praise the Lord with heart. Make melody to him with an instrument of ten, ten strings. Sing to him a new song. Yeah. Play skillfully with a shout of joy. For the words of the Lord is right, and all his work is done in truth. He loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Amen. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. He gathered the water from the sea together as a heap. He lay up the deep in the storehouse. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the inhabitants of the world stand in awe of him. For he spoke and it was done. He commanded and it all stood fast. That's, Lord, we just thank you for your words. We want to declare once again that you are truly the maker of heaven and earth. Amen. You are the maker of heaven and earth and that you are the creator of our being. And Lord, we want to declare that you are the Lord of Lord, King of Kings over this city, Lord, Metro, Metro Vancouver. We want to commit this land to you. We say, this land belongs to you. Yes. And we declare over the airways right now to say, the Lord Jesus is the Lord of Metro Vancouver. Amen. Lord Jesus yeah. is the King over this land. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We bless you, Lord. We bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 This morning, we're going to start with uh, the words of God from Philippians chapter 1, verse 21. It says, For me to live is Christ, yes. and to die is gain. Yes. This verse is Paul, Apostle Paul, wrote to the, uh, to the churches in, uh, in Philippines. And as you study Paul in his history, when he wrote this letter to the Philippi Philippines, Philippines, he actually was in a prison. He's actually in trial, basically before Caesar. And what he's doing is that he's saying, for me, for me, I don't care about any one of you, anybody who don't don't believe, or anything anybody else who say otherwise. Just for me, I live to live is Christ. I am I am not ashamed of the gospel being spoken, Amen. and he was being put in prison because of that. And say today, as we stand here, we say we are ashamed of the gospel of yes. Jesus Christ. We want to be like Paul when he when he spoke, when he when he he shared the testimony of, of Jesus Christ, when he healed the sick, when he dried out the uh, the demon. He's declaring to the world the world that the Lord Jesus is the is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. Amen. And and he and he's deaf, you know he put in prison. It's not because he offended. Any, any law, any civic laws, or do, you know, anything criminal. He was put in jail. It's because he was sharing the gospel of good news. Amen. What he believed that it's going to be a solution. That's right. The solution That's right. at that time That's right. for that era, yeah. for that place. Yes. And he was unashamed. Yes. And he said that I, for my life, I live a good life before. Yes. I am well educated. Yes. I come from a good family. Yes. I have the bloodline that 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 you know have a good status in the society. Yes. I am the Pharisee of Pharisee. Yes. I am the Hebrew of Hebrews. Yes. I could own everything that everybody else needed and wanted. And yet, when he encountered Jesus on the road to Damascus whole thing changed. He got transformed. He got transformed. And for the before he was before the encounter, he was killing those who are following Christ. Yeah. Yeah. But after yeah. the encounter, he 
he captured, he transformed the zeal that he has before and put into the preaching the gospel. And he definitely saying that and encouraging the churches at that time, which I think is spoken to us at this hour as well, yeah. that we should not be ashamed of the gospel. Yeah. I mean, this is the right things to say, because this is a solution that the people need. Yes. We need to, to, to speak about the good news, because without the good news, people do not have hope. Yes. This is the season. Uh, Jesus is the reason for the season. Yes. Without it, there is no hope for the people. Yes. And I will say that without our Lord Jesus, there is no solution either. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we need to be truly be like Paul, to be unashamed yes. of, his yes. death, yeah, of, of the gospel. Yes. And to, to, yes. for Paul, he not only that he lived for Christ, he proclaimed that, you know, even at this time, whether he's going to die or live, he said, I don't care. Because if I'm going to continue living, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do producing the fruits for Christ. Yes. I am going to labor hard. I'm not going to sit around. I'm not going to be get defeated. Yes. I'm not going to say that, oh, that's too tough for me. I'm not going to do anymore. You know, I'm going to still continue to produce the fruits that, uh, that's been put upon me. He said, I'm going to labor, labor hard. And this is the same thing that we need to do for each one of us. Yes. yes, the yes. situation doesn't look too, too good for us at a time, but it doesn't mean we need to be uh, slowed down. We need to be hiding because hiding is not going to solve the solution. And I have been looking into uh, reading back into Elijah again about the story about where you know, he, he, he challenged the prophet of Bill and whereby you know the the fire of God come down, and that He was you know able to uh, uh, able to demonstrate the power of God in front of all the people. And, and and you know when you're reading the story, you also know that before you know Obadiah was telling him that he has actually been hiding, you know uh, about well fifty hundred uh, God's prophet of God. Of the you know, prophets of Jehovah in the two caves. I was wondering when I'm reading it, say, those prophets that have been hiding, what are they doing? Did they actually accompany Elijah to the the uh, the Mount Camel to to see the showcase of, of God? I wonder, do they were they were they there? Because I, I think they are not there. No, yeah. no. I don't think so. Yeah. Yeah. They were hiding because they were yeah. so afraid. Yeah. Yes. And, it, and, 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 and people may say, well, God hid them. I went back to read the scripture. I don't think God hid them. It was over there, you know, hidden, uh, hide, uh, hid, hid, hid the prophets in the cave. And I was thinking, you know what, a lot of time we, 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 we do things, we say that this is God doing it, and, and, and God tells us to say, at this time, we need to lay low, okay? Yeah. We need to lay low, so we go to hide. You know what, those 100 prophets, I'm telling you, you have, after read, reading the, the, the time you talk about the 100 prophets, you do not hear about them anymore. Yeah. Yes. You yeah. don't really hear any about their, their, any of their, their testimony. Mm -hmm. What happened to them? What happened to them? Stay hiding. Stay hiding. You know what? I am actually believe that when you are afraid of standing up for God and you go and hide, God really have a question of trusting you again. And then even for Elijah, when he actually did all this miracle, Powerful miracle just happened. And yet, the moment that he hear have a message to say that Jezebel has sent words to say to kill him, he ran as well. He went to hide. He went to hide and then God had to you know get the angel to give him some bread and tell him to go to another another place to wait for him. And then God is when he was in entering the cave, and God was asking him, Elijah, what are you doing here? 
I was wondering why God have to ask him. I'm sure God know why why he was here. Why God has to ask him why you were here? I believe that God is telling Elijah to give him a chance to repent. To say, sorry, I was afraid. You know, I chicken out. I you know I don't know what to do, so I ran. But instead, what I see, what Elijah was replying to, he said he didn't repent. He said, "Oh, I am the only prophet left, yeah. only one left. But everybody is going against me. Blah blah blah. I know. Complain, complain, complain. <laughs> so then, then God, then God, then God say, okay, go to the the mouth of the cave. I'm gonna you know, speak to you. Yes. He he go. He went out to the mouth." And then the wind come yes. come by, and then the earthquake come by, and the fire come by. Yeah. But God did not speak to those earthquake. The song came to the wind. Do not speak to the fire. But God is demonstrating His power in front of Elijah. And then God spoke a very still small voice, and Elijah then. Know that it's God. He went forward to the to the to the mouth, and then stand there and listen. Guess what? Is God is asking him again? He said, "What are you doing here, Elijah?" Come on. This is the second time God asked him. God is giving Elijah a second time to repent. I believe, yeah. but he did not repent. Yeah. He repeat the same story again. Yeah. The government made me do that. You know, the prophets, you know, the the people there to tell me, you know, the, you know, the other people ask me to go and hide. I am, you know, it's somebody a fraud. Somebody tell me, you know, it's, it's not doing God's job. I'm the only one doing it. You know what? Do, I'm going to continue reading that, you know, after he said that. I know Bible didn't say it, but I'm pretty sure God's shaking his his head, and he said, "Okay, now turn around, go and anoint three people, anoint Elisha, and then anoint the other two as the king of Syria and also king of, of Israel." Yes. Yeah. And he said, "Elisha is going to be your successor." Yeah. I wonder because Elijah was afraid and went into hiding. And when God challenged him, he did not repent. <coughs> Is that why his mission being aborted? I'm just wondering. Is that he was not able to carry on his mission after God had given him twice the chance to ask him why? Why you are here? Why you are hiding? Is it God that said, "Why are you hiding?" And I, I believe we are, are in these hours, the same scenario is God is asking us again. Yeah. Are we afraid? Are we going to stand for him? Mm -hmm. yeah. And those yeah. who are you who are hiding, God is giving a chance to say, why are you, why are you here? Why are you where you are today? Why are you hiding? Why are you not standing here? God is asking you to, to come, to to to, to be bold, to yes. admit that you are weak. Yes. Because when you are weak, He will be He He He's strong in you. Amen. And God is gracious, God. Yeah. And I tell you, God is a faithful God. Yes. And His mercy endure forever. Amen. His love, His love, His perfect love will cast out all fear. Yes. You know what? We do not need to afraid. You know, a lot of us, we are afraid, afraid of dying because we do not know who God is. Because we think that we just have this earth and when, you know, that's all we do enjoy. And we don't believe that what God say about the, our eternal life, the, you know, after this earth, there is life. Amen. There is yes. life after yes. this earth. Yes. And it is eternal life. Amen. And what we hit on earth, on this earth, if you are if you are long life, you it's 120 years. 
It's very short compared to the eternity. Oh, yeah, yeah. And why are we afraid of dying? You know what? We were talking the other day with, with some of my family, and we were saying that, do you know what people you know, are reporting you know, people, each other, your neighbor, about you know, they're having a social gathering? There are people who are reporting the restaurant, saying that they are not in the same household. I, I was shaking my head, saying, what kind of people are we becoming that we are so selfish that we report on people, not because you think you know that you 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 know that you 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 want to be a good citizen, and you may say that you want to be a good citizen, but now in the, in your heart, I believe they are afraid of dying. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Yes. They are afraid of catching yes. the virus. Yes. That's one thing I think we believe that we, we, they're afraid they can catch a virus. And you guys are not obeying the bylaw. And you guys are gonna cause a problem. You're gonna cause me to get sick. And that's why they report you. Okay? Mm. I don't think it's because they think that, you know, they try to be a good citizen. I think it's deep down, it's that of, you know, afraid in them. Yes. And the fear in them. Yeah. And you know what? When you're feeling a man and feeling of, of, of of the, of, of the virus because you don't have Jesus in your heart. Mm, yeah, and for yeah. some of you who have yes. Jesus in your heart, I do not think you really understand what that mean that he has done for you. Mm. When he say, I die for you. Yes. I die for your inequity. And that I will provide for you. Yes. I will keep you safe. Amen. I will protect you, as your Psalm 91 say. Hallelujah. I will, I will shelter you. I will shield you. Amen. Even if you get sick, I will heal you. Amen. And then, you know, there's many of our brothers and sisters who know, who know, who, who has accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And yet, they live in the way that is in the, in the, in the bondage, in the prison of fear. Mm. And they are saying that, because I'm afraid, I do not want you guys to be enjoying the freedom. I don't want you guys to be freedom. So I am going to suggest something so that none of you will enjoy the freedom. Because I don't have freedom because I keep myself into the prison. But I don't want you guys to enjoy either. Because they have a very selfish heart in them. Yes. Yeah. Okay? Not only that they're afraid of dying, they are very selfish. Yes. They do not want you guys to enjoy the freedom you have. Yes. Just because they cannot free themselves. That's <laughs> right. If, if you talk to them, they, they, they do not want you to have joy. They do not want you to have the peace of God that yes. surpass all understanding. Yes. He want to make sure that you guys don't have it either. So I am going to suggest this thing so that all of us will be in this equal, same, same, you know, common denominator. I'm not happy because I have to stay at home. I'm not able to worship a joy. I'm going to make sure you guys don't have the same thing. Wow. Man. Wow. When Bible say the, the heart of the man is so evil. Yeah. It's so right. bad. Now you can see that really, if we are not being transformed by Jesus, yeah. our heart truly are not nothing to offer to the world. Yeah. How could we offer this selfishness to the world when we say that we believe in Jesus? Yeah. How could we draw people to Jesus when we do not lift the name of Jesus on high? Yeah. Come on. The yes, Lord say, Jesus say, Leave my name yes. on high, yes. Yes. that oh, yeah. I will draw all men to me. Yes, that's right. That's right. When yes. we do right. not openly, publicly lift the name of Jesus on high, mm. how could others know our Jesus is the Lord of Lord and King of Name? And His name is above all names. Amen. Yes. You see, Paul. Say, I, if I have to live, I will live for Christ. Mm -hmm. I will produce, I will 
continue to be an a shame of gospel. I'm going to charge on and produce and saving soul because the mission for me on this earth is to do the will of God, Amen. is to save the soul. And that's what matters to God. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. That's why I, if I you know, continue, God's going to give me years. I want to do that. That's why when he's in prison, he's still encouraging the, the churches you know, to, 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 to walk upright, to do the right thing, to do the will of God. And he was not afraid of dying because he's already know where he's going. He know that when he see Jesus, this is where he's going to encounter the glory of God. He know that when he, in, in, when he encounter the glory of God, everything will be a-okay. Nothing will bother him anymore. You see, for us, we need to know our Jesus in such a way that we know the assurance that he had given to us. Yes. That we need to know that when he say, I have gone before you to prepare a place for you. Yes. That he, when he say that, it, it's gonna be happening. Yes. He is going ahead to prepare a place for us. Right. Yeah. So don't doubt it. Yes. And the place he's gonna prepare for us is gonna be yes. a million times better than what we yes. have. Yes. 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 So why are we holding the life here. Why are we thinking that we try to, to hold on to our life? Because we can't even, you know, add on any day, any hour to our life, ourselves. Because the Lord is the one that number our head. Right. He's the one yeah. that give us, you know, our expired day. Yes, you yes. cannot extend your expiry no. day. No. Neither can you cut it short, yeah. either. So, you know, you don't have a, you know, a choice to it. Why are you afraid? It is your, not your time to go. It's not your time to go. Right? Yeah. right? Yes. yes. So why you worry about it? Seriously, why you worry about this life? Why are you worrying the dying? The dying part is the best part. Paul say. Yes. To die is gain. We got to really get that into our system. We need to die because to know that to die is gain. Yeah. That we should not be afraid of dying. Right. We should not be afraid of what man can do to That's you. Right. Because That's no right. man can do to you yeah. except what God allow you, allow you to happen. You, God will do it not just for the sake of want to punish you. He do it to shape us, yeah. to shake us to shift us so that we will align with him. He take away our relationship so that we could be in the right relationship. He take away our belonging, our treasure, so that we can find treasure in him. He took away, he took away our focus on, on the earthly things so that we can gaze our, our eye onto him and him only. He said he took away things though because he do, you know, he know that it's better for us to not to have it. Yes. So the Lord is doing all things, is to telling us do not fear about dying, mm -hmm. but rather fear on me. Yes. Yes. Do not fear about the one who destroy your body, yes. but cannot kill your soul, wow. but afraid the oh, one. Yes that can kill your body and the soul and throw it into the, yes. into the hell. God is saying, yes. afraid of me, yes. Yes. who is the one yes. is gonna put you in, in where? In eternity, yeah. in the glory with me or the other way, which is not what you want. So the Lord is saying, do not fear about the, 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 the law or the man. Fear me, yes. what I want you to do, right. what my commandment is, right. what my will is. Right. He's challenging for each one of us right now to say, be like Paul yes. and declare that today for well, Philippians, Philippians chapter 1 verse, 20, uh, verse 12 is to, is to say to die, 
to, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Yeah. Did yeah. I get my scripture wrong? Philippians chapter 1? Oh, that's good. So, that's 22? Good. Yeah. All right. 2-2. Two, two. Chapter 1, 22. So, the Lord wants us to be really learn from Paul. Yeah. Okay? That when we are on earth, what we want to live for is to produce fruit, to save souls to accomplish the mission God wants us to do, to bring the heaven down, to demonstrate His power on earth. Because this is the only way people can draw, can see the power of God. Don't do be a social Christian. Be a power Christian, powerful Christian. Do you know, I've been asking God, God, what do you want me to tell your people today? He said, tell my people, I'm raising out army right now. Yes. A very yes. powerful army. Yes. They have three characteristic, three traits in them. You're gonna see that they are very um, orderly, marching with God, like in sync with God. You're gonna see that. You're gonna see this army that's going to be synced up with God and marching orderly. Amen. To, yes. And second trait, he say, it's gonna be, it's gonna be in unity. Yes. Not only the unity among this army, but unity with God. Amen. And the third trait, he say that this army is going to have this absolute obedience to me. Amen. That whenever, whenever the captain, the commander of the heavenly host, our Lord Jesus, issue a command, this army will, will just go for. Amen. And this army is has three characters, another three uh, powerful character with them. They're gonna be fear, fearless. And he's gonna be so, fear, so powerful and fear that they will advance the ki kingdom Amen. aggressively. Amen. Because God say, my kingdom has suffered violence. Yes. And, yes. and the violence, the aggressiveness is the only way to take it over. Yeah. We need to take it over. Yeah. And this is going to take that over. Yes. And second thing, he said that God, this, this army is going to have another character that is said it will not be fear, no fear, fearless, fearless, fearless. And the third one is that he said that this, this army is going to have bold faith. Bold faith that will, will, will demonstrate the power of God on earth. Amen. It's going to carry the supernatural power. Yes. That, that's what the Bible says, the signs and wonder will follow, follow us. That, that part, it say it's going to be this, this army, not only it's going to preach the gospel, it's going to heal the sick, yes. and he's going to be dry up demons. Yes. Yes. He, this, this army is going to be powerful. That's why he's doing all the shifting and all the shaking right now. Because he needs to make sure that whoever that makes it into this army yes. is going to be fearless, yes. it's going to have bold faith, yes. it's going to be fearful yes. to move to advance the kingdom of God. Amen. Like this, this army of God that he's raising out at this hour, at this end time, is not for a meek, for a weak person. It's not for people who say, ah, I think I can, you know, I can, you know, that doesn't have that faith to, to overcome or faith to advance the kingdom. So God is saying, I'm raising this, this army now. Amen. And God is saying, are you guys ready? Do you want to be part of it? Yes. If you yes. do, yes. you have to be like Paul to declare that to live is Christ yes. and to die but not to is gain. Yes. This is the bold faith that he's yes. asking us to do. That we should not be fear of dying. Yes. We should not be fear of dying. Because what we're gonna do, what is coming ahead of us, is not a small matter. Yes. It's gonna shake the earth. Yes. It's gonna shake the foundation on our law of mountains. So God is saying, be ready, my 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 church, my people, my bride. And another thing that God is saying too, they say I'm also at the same time preparing my bride. There's to be spotless, 
to be no wrinkle, to be bold as well. And I was saying, God, how could this army and a bride uh, work together? Like to me, in my mind, bride is something gentle, sweet, right? That's your image, you know, talk about beautiful as a bride. And then you're talking about army, who's actually going to be in the warfare, it's going to be warrior. And God's telling me, I'm raising out a warrior bride. Yeah. A warrior bride. So this warrior bride who is spotless, who is full of faith and full of bonus, and that is he going to abide with our Lord together, they're going to advance the kingdom. Amen. So, my brother and sister, get ready. Yes. Get ready. Mm. Because I think the time is, is come. Mm. God has put you at this hour, yes. in this place, because he has an assignment for you to do. Amen. 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 So don't be sleepy. Don't be slowing down. In fact, you pick up your space, pace now to say, God, what, what do I have to do? What can I do to be enlisted into this army? Help me. If I'm blinded in any way, help me to walk in it. Help me to be, be part of it because, folks, I'm telling you, if we can, together with God, marching be his warrior bride, advancing his kingdom, I will tell you, you will be having a life of your time. You're gonna have a fulfillment life. Your life will be so fulfilled that you will not want anything else on earth that what you want is to abide with him, to be in partnership with him, and to work with him. Once again, let's say together as Paul said, for me, for me to live, to live, to live is Christ. 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 To die, Christ. is getting Let it be a mortal. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. One thing that I want to release in this moment. One thing that I want to release on the addition of what Pastor CM said that I want to release this to the atmosphere of our world. The Bible says very clearly, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. We want to be wise to how to deal with the life of this earth. We need to have first honor Him above all things. We need to honor the Lord and fear Him who is the beginning of all wisdom. Yes. Without Him, we have no wisdom on this earth. Yes. Without Him, we're failing at our very best. And without Him, the greatest thing that we do is a failure. But in Him, we don't, the fear of the Lord, if we should be afraid of anything in this world, is to be afraid that the one that takes our soul away for eternity, either to heaven or to hell, that's what we should be honoring first. Not of the viruses of everything else on this world, but we have to give the Lord God Almighty the place that He, he deserves. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the everlasting Father, the Creator of heaven and earth, the one that created everything on this earth. And that's why Paul could say, to live is Christ to die is gain he says I am not a citizen of this world I'm the citizen of heaven yeah. and the reason people are afraid of dying is because they do not know the eternity yeah. they're not afraid what the eternity will look like they're not afraid they're, they're afraid where they're going to end up eventually but if they were they knew that their hope is in Jesus and eternity life forevermore with Christ they would not be afraid of anything that this world is sending them but they would be starting the daily basis the fear of the Lord Lord, that I will honor the laws of God above all the other laws and I will give him the glory and honor which is done to his name. So Father in the name of Jesus right now, we declare oh Lord God, just like what we read in the book of Acts, oh God, that when oh Lord God, these demons started going on the, those, uh, the sons of the uh, no, uh, Steve, uh, I'm sorry. Steve, Steve. Steve, Steve. Yes, amen. Thank you. As they jumped on them and they, 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 they destroyed them, the fear of the Lord came upon all men. They were afraid of the. They were afraid that they will not take the name of the Lord any longer in vain. And they 
they start repenting. And Father, we pray right now in the name of Jesus that there will be a fear of the Lord that will be restored one more time upon Metro Vancouver, upon British Columbia, upon the upon Canada, Lord God. We need one more time that the name of Jesus will be high lifted up and no longer taken in vain, oh Lord God. People are using the name of our Lord Jesus Christ as a curse word, oh Lord God. Father, the hour has come that you will not allow that to happen any longer, oh Lord God. But you will allow your name to be exalted above all things, oh Lord God. Father, people are standing around and taking pictures of Christmas trees and all sorts of things. But oh Lord God, what they need to take a picture is a picture of heaven with Jesus, oh Lord God. Understand me that Christmas is the reason, Jesus is the reason for Christmas and we need to exalt his name. This is the hour that we need the fear of the Lord be restored upon our land. We need one more time the fear of God to come upon this land, oh God. Because, oh Lord God, the media is reporting a message of a fear of a disease that will kill this flesh. But they're not reporting on a report on a disease that kills us eternity, oh Lord God. And that is sin and that is life without Jesus Christ. That, oh Lord God, needs to be reported. That if you do not have Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you will That is the truth. That is the fact that there is no other way but through Jesus Christ. And we receive this message that you brought to us this morning, oh God. And we are here now to glorify you in songs and declare that the King of kings and the Lord of lords is here. Thank you for the charge, oh God, that you give through your servant, oh God, through your servant, Pastor Siamo, Lord God. We are so thankful, oh God. But we are going to be declaring now, I see the King of glory coming on the clouds is fire. Shaking, the whole earth is shaking. Yes, I, I see his love and mercy washing over all our sins. The people will say, and they will start singing, Hosanna, Hosanna to the highest, because we need a savior in Jesus. Hallelujah.